Welcome folks to this new video. In this new video I would like to give you a tutorial on how to get started with LT Spice. Where LT Spice is a computer software that will allow you to simulate electric circuits. So let's get started. So the first thing I will do is I will uh, come in and load LT Spice. So I will click on LT Spice. So this is the main interface that the user will interact with LT Spice. Uh, over here we have the main menu and over here we have the shortcut commands or icons that we can use. Uh, so the first thing you want to do when you load LT Spice is uh, to create a new schematic or if you have all the schematic you can open it. So you can create a new schematic from this icon through this shortcut uh, menu. Or you can go to the main menu and go to file new schematic that will do so I'm gonna create a new schematic over here and on this panel I can basically draw the electric circuit by adding components and symbols to uh, this uh, uh, schematic and over here you have the uh, commands the shortcut commands to draw the electric circuit so the first one here is to draw a wire. This is to include a ground. This one here is to label a net. A net is basically going to be a node here. So if you want to label a node, you can label a node with this command. This one to draw a resistor. This is to draw a capacitor. This one to draw inductor, diode. Over here, if you want to add other components. So LT Splice has too many different components beside those that you can add. Some of them are ideal components, others gonna be a practical components with models that describe the behavior of those components. This one is to move components, this one is to drag components, those to undo and redo, those ones to rotate components. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a resistor here. So to add a resistor, you click on this, a shortcut icon and this will add a resistor so automatically it will give it a name R1 and then you can enter the value for it right now the value is undefined that's why you see the symbol R you can place it anywhere over here in this schematic uh, panel so I'm gonna put it over here now LT Spice will automatically move to R2 and R3 and R4 and so on so to exit this mode, click on escape. So I'm going to click on escape. And now I can change this uh, name from R1 basically by coming to the top of the name, right click on it. I can give it any name as long as I'll keep the first letter R. The first letter must be R. So I can call it RX for example, right? Now to change the value of the resistor, I will come to the top of the resistor right click the mouse here I'm gonna change it from R to some value like for example 1k 1k means 1 kilo ohm 1000 ohm the K is what we call unit prefix which is a multiplier that equals to a thousand and keep in mind that there is no space in between 1k no space if there is a space will give you a syntax error so now we enter the resistor value equal 1k now I'm going to add an independent voltage source. So I'm going to come to component over here. I will click on component. Here I will search for the voltage source. So I will write voltage. I will search for voltage. It will highlight for me the voltage source. It tells me that this is a voltage source. So I will click on it. And now I can place it over here. So I'm going to start by building very simple circuit and show you how to simulate this simple circuit very easily. Now, again, just like with resistors, once you place one, one voltage source, you're going to have the second one and the third one and so forth. To exit the voltage source drawing mode, just to click on escape. Click on escape will make it disappear. I'm going to change the name of this voltage source to call it VS instead of V1, it's VS. And the value of this voltage source here, we're going to start with the symbol DC value. So we're going to say that it's 10 volts. 
any voltage source will have a series internal resistance with it we're going to keep it ideal so we're going to say that this has zero ohm resistor right ideal keep it blank will work we're going to do okay so here we are simulating simple circuit with one voltage source and one resistor and what i'm going to do here is i'm going to draw the wires to connect the circuit so i'm going to come from this voltage source we'll have a wire we'll go to this resistor and then at the bottom also i will go from this resistor to the voltage source now this circuit is not complete yet we need to add the ground so i'm going to click escape to exit the wire thing and then uh, so i'm going to add the ground and to add the ground i'm going to click on this button here that's the ground come here to and then i will place the ground over here and then i'll draw a wire from the bottom to the ground you must have ground in every circuit now keep in mind also you can zoom in and zoom out from the circuit so uh, so this particular button here it says zoom full extent it will zoom to maximize the view of the circuit this one here will zoom out right you can zoom out this one here will zoom in so you can zoom in go to back extent I like to zoom out also you can use the mouse wheel to move in or out to zoom in or zoom out so here I'm gonna zoom out by moving the mouse wheel I can zoom in if I want it I can move this panel this schematic on the panel back and forth basically what I do is I just right to click on the mouse on the panel and I can move it back and forth like I want so I'm gonna keep it over here so at this point we knew how to select a resistor from here we selected the voltage source by going to component we know how to change the names of the voltage source and the resistor the values of the voltage source and the resistor we know how to draw the wires we added the ground and then we know how to navigate the zooms what we want to do next is you want it to simulate the circuit so the simplest simulation is what we call the DC operating point. It basically will tell me what's the operating points of the circuit is. Now keep in mind that this is very simple circuit and we are learning how to use LT spice. So I'm going to come to simulate here. This basically says simulate the circuit. I'm going to go to edit command, edit command. So here is the different type of simulations that we can do. The simplest one is what we call DC operating point and the DC operating point basically will solve the DC circuit for us. I'm going to click OK and it creates a command. I need to place the command somewhere on the schematic. So I'm going to place it somewhere over here. Now I'm ready to simulate the circuit. But before I simulate the circuit, you need to know how B-SPICE works. B-SPICE deals with the nodal voltages and the currents through the components. So the ground is the zero node. This is the zero node. Now this node on the top automatically LT spice will give it a name N001. So how would I know that the name of this node called N001? I need to see some file called the spice netlist. It's basically the netlist of the file. So you say uh, so you save the schematic, and then you're gonna come to view and you view the spice netlist and you can see here that we have a text file that describes the circuit so it says that rx is connected from node n001 which is the top node to zero and the value is 1k and this one here says that vs is connected from node n001 to node zero because we know this is zero from ground. So I know that this voltage source is connected from node N001 to node uh, zero, and the value is 10. And then the command op means that we're gonna do DC operating point. So you can do that. 
and then now we are ready to simulate the circuit so I'm gonna simulate the circuit by clicking on this icon and now it simulates the circuit so what it says is that the voltage at node 1 which is this node will equal to 10 volts the current through the voltage source will equal to negative 0.01 which is negative 10 milliamp the reason is that by default the current through the voltage source will be the current going into the plus polarity and the current going into the resistor will be the current enters from the top by default so you need to keep that in mind another thing you can do with the DC operating point is you can come to the top node over here and you can right click on it and now you can say that place op data label it will show you that it reads 10 volts you can also change the name of the top node so you can do that by clicking here on the label net or you can come to the top node here right to click on it it says label net it's the same command as this one so I can call it V1 stands for node 1 you can give it any name you can call it N1 it doesn't matter so I'm gonna uh, click OK and now I'm gonna place this over here so now this node have been called V1 I can save go to the view netlist and now it says that Rx is connected from node v1 to 0 and vs is connected from node v1 to 0 so this node have been changed from n001 to node v1 lt splice will allow you to do that so now we can run it and you can see that the voltage here reads 10 volts or if you want to read the things over here what it says is the voltage at node V1 will equal to 10 and it tells you what's the current to the resistor and what's the current to the voltage source so the voltages here are given in terms of the nodal voltages this should be very straightforward now I'm gonna make the circuit look more complicated to show you how fun this can be so I'm gonna add another resistor and here I'm gonna rotate the resistor uh, uh, so to rotate the resistor I'm gonna rotate it here using this one it says rotate so it's gonna rotate it clockwise 90 degrees so that's what I have here I'm gonna come over here to go back to the circuit this is my original circuit so the circuit name by default gonna be R1 here uh, I'm gonna click OK hit to skip so what we have here is the current through R1 this resistor now because we rotated it 90 degrees the current gonna flow from the right to the left that's something you need to know because it used to be from the top you rotate it 90 degrees it's gonna move this way so it's gonna move from the right to the left I'm gonna change the name of it to be uh, RY and the value of it I'm gonna come on the top of the resistor right to click and the value of it I'm gonna make it uh, 2k and I'm gonna add one more resistor over here and I'm gonna change the name of this resistor to be RZ And then the value of it gonna be 3k so I'm just choosing random values here and I'm gonna do a drawing the wire drawing I'm just adding to the circuit to make it more complicated and more fun so here I'm gonna add one more resistor and I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees now to make the current go from the left to the right I'm going to reflect it so by reflecting it 
basically by making the mirror now the default current will go from the left to the right because I rotated it first 90 degrees then I mirrored it I'm gonna come to this icon where I do zoom full extent oops zoom full extent I'm gonna add this resistor over here and I can keep the name of it R1 I'm gonna change the value of that to be 500 ohms and then zoom extend again gonna add this to that and I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and I'm gonna move the circuit over here now I'm gonna add one more new component this new component is called current source independent current source so I'm gonna come to component and I will do current here I'll search for current current will be independent current source this is the one I have this here is the current to the bottom I'm gonna make it to the top so I'm gonna rotate it twice then I'll do escape and now I'm gonna uh, change this name to make it is and then the value of this current I'm gonna make it 5 milliamp and now I'm gonna complete drawing the circuit I'm gonna give this names the nodal voltages I'm gonna give them names this is V1 this one over here I'm gonna call it V2 so I'm gonna go to label I will call this V2 make sure that you make it touch the node and then over here I will call a new label we'll call it V3 make sure it touches this node and now I'm interested in simulating the circuit I'm just gonna run the circuit so it give me the values of all those things here I'm interested in the nodal voltages so I'm gonna come to this node yeah, let's close this I'm gonna come to this node and I'll say that place the data here come to this node place the data here so it shows me that the voltage here is 14.5 the voltage here is 12 volts the voltage here is 10 volts if I wanted to know the current through each resistor I'm gonna run here it will give me the current through each resistor so it will say that the current through R1 but this is R1 now remember R1 we said is the current going this way because we rotated it then we flipped it so this is gonna give me a negative 5 milliamps which is the opposite of this current so this current goes 5 milliamp this way the current going the other way gonna be negative 5 milliamps the current through RZ gonna be 4 milliamps so I have 4 milliamp going through here and then the current through RY RY we define the current to go from right to left so that's gonna be 1 milliamp finally the current through RX gonna go from the top to the bottom and that's gonna equal to 10 milliamp so as you can see that we were able to simulate this particular circuit very easily simply by drawing the circuit and simulating the circuit we were able to obtain the values the DC values of the circuit so that's all what I'm gonna cover in this tutorial video I hope you like this tutorial video and good luck to you